Hey everybody, this is Peter. In this video segment, we're going to create a custom fingerprint with Sourcefire IPS. So the first thing we're going to do, like always, let's log on with our administrator username and password. <clears throat> and as that's happening, we'll discuss kind of like what we mean by custom fingerprint. So let's go into policy and response, RNA, custom fingerprint. Now with custom fingerprints, what you can actually do here is create your own, again, fingerprint that will allow you to look for specific types of characteristics in the traffic that you see. So we'll go ahead and click on custom fingerprint here and you'll see a little more of what I mean. So in our fingerprint name, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and type in whatever we want for our fingerprint. In the select a sensor um, drop down, you can choose whatever sensors um, that you want to basically push this fingerprint out to. Okay, in our case, we're going to use the defense center one that we have currently set up. We'll go ahead and give it a name in this case you know something simple right custom dash fingerprint or something like that all right in our fingerprint target device or sorry you're in our fingerprint fingerprint type we can basically put client or server so basically hone in on what we're trying to look for we can go into our target IP address type in the specific IP address target distance for example the number of hops um, and the interface that we want to basically look at in our custom OS display, we're not going to look at this stuff. We can basically put in specific vendor product or version strings. We're not going to look at that in this video. In OS vulnerability mappings, we can basically choose the different vendor type of products um, in order to map our vulnerabilities. So in this case, we've got, you know, we're going to choose Microsoft. Um, in our drop down, you know, we have all their products type of thing. We can basically choose, let's say, .NET Server. We can basically go into a major or a minor version as well. In this case, there are none for this specific product. In our revision version, we can do the same. There's none in there as well. In our builds, again, we can do the same. And in our patches, we can choose which level of patch as well as, as, well as extension. Okay, and in there, go ahead, we submit, and you'll see now we actually have our own custom fingerprint. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks very much for coming out.